We begin with breaking news right now. Students finally able to leave school after a shooting put them on lockdown for hours. And we are asking police a lot of questions about this, including if any students were involved. I'm Kelly Worthman in for Karen Lee tonight. And I'm Michael Spencer. Police are not saying much at this time because it is so early on into that investigation. But here's what we know so far. That shooting happened at 9th and Bush Street in Brighton. Police then made arrests near Prairie View High School. That's where we find Olivia Young tonight, who was the Olivia you were there as students and parents were reunited. I was Michael. Students were on lockdown for hours today here at Prairie View while their parents waited anxiously nearby in the parking lot of this church. One father described getting a call from his 10th grade daughter from inside the school. My daughter, she was like whispering, but she was crying and she just said, we don't know what's going on, but they told us to uh, to take cover and hide. And that's all I heard, and I just said, I'm on my way. The shooting took place at 9th and Bush Street. That's about 13 minutes away from here. A neighbor tells our Alan Janae that he saw two groups of teenagers arguing and then heard gunshots. Brighton 27J has confirmed the incident involved students from Innovations and Options, Prairie View, and Brighton High Schools. Now, it appears the suspects drove here to Prairie View afterwards. Police found the car they believe was involved and took two suspects into custody outside the school. The school stayed on lockdown while police searched it. She said at one point that the cops did come in uh, with their weapons and they were like scanning every child like every face and whatnot um, just to see if I'm assuming if the kid was in there whoever they're looking for. Now police did eventually escort students out and safely re reunite them with their parents at around 3:30. That was slightly delayed after we saw police run across that church parking lot and take another person into custody who had been waiting with parents in a black SUV. Now Brighton 27J school district says no additional suspects were found inside the school and that all suspects are in custody. In Brighton, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First. Olivia, thank you. Now we want to get to you.